Hello and welcome to the Google Analytics tutorial series. I'm Matt Landers, and in this tutorial we're going to talk about conversions. Now conversions are no different than other events that we track in Google Analytics. Remember, event is just an action that a user is taking on our website or in our app. But a conversion is a special event. It's one that we've marked as a conversion and one that we probably could assign a monetary value to, something that we would pay to acquire, right? For instance, if you have an e-commerce shop and you're selling products, then a purchase event would be a conversion event. And actually, that's automatically already marked as a conversion in GA, so you don't have to do that one. But there are other events, too, that you need to signal to Google Analytics that this is a conversion, like someone signing up for your newsletter, requesting a demo, filling out a lead form. Whatever these actions are that you really want users to take on your site, we need to mark those as conversions so that we let Google Analytics know that this is an important action and it will help us light up reports, conversion reports within GA. And we can also send that conversion out over to Google Ads so that we can bid on it, so we can find other users that are likely to convert for that action. All right, so let's hop on over into our Analytics account and mark an event as a conversion. All right, we're back on the homepage of our Analytics account. And what we want to do is we want to mark our newsletter sign up as a conversion. Now we created this event in the past, so we've already been sending these through. Now one thing to note is that once we mark it as a conversion, it doesn't retroactively convert all of our previous events to conversions. It will only be future events after the time that we mark that event as a conversion. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's go do it. All we have to do is go down to the bottom left to our admin panel. And then you'll see under our property, we have events and conversions. If we click on conversions, we'll see that we already have a purchase event in here. Now we've never sent a purchase event to GA, but it's just letting us know that, hey, you have a web data stream and we know that a purchase is a potential event you could send. And we're gonna automatically convert that to a conversion for you. So it's already here. Now we could create a new conversion event, but we already have an event we've been sending through our newsletter sign up for a few weeks now. So we can go over to our events and we'll see that it shows up in this list. Now we can come in here and just literally switch this toggle and now we've converted that newsletter sign up to a conversion event. Boom, we are done. Now we've told Google Analytics, hey, this is a conversion. We want you to treat this differently. We want this to light up our conversion reports, which are under our reports, and then engagement and conversions. We'll see there's no data here right now, but over the next few days, I'll send some conversions through and we'll see that in future tutorials. We'll look at the conversions and see how we can send those over to ads and use them to build audiences as well. All right, I know this was a short one, but it's really important. You need to understand conversions. You need to track them. It's critical to your marketing funnel and to the signals that you're sending analytics and to ads. All right, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please like it, subscribe, follow the playlist. Also, if you have questions or you want to see other videos that we make, join our Discord server. The link is in the description of this video. And leave a comment. Let us know how we're doing. And we appreciate you checking out these tutorials and I look forward to you in the next tutorial series. And until then, happy measuring.